In this example, we're going to find the uh, confidence interval for a 95% confidence interval, find the critical value, or also known as Z with a subscript alpha over 2. In order to find the critical value, we have to draw out our normal or bell-shaped distribution. So we have a bell-shaped curve. For a 95% confidence interval, it means that 95% of our data will lie within some lower limit and some upper limit. What we want to find is the Z alpha over 2, or this critical region for the lower tail, and also the same thing for the upper tail, or the upper boundary. So all of this data in here accounts for 95%. That means since the whole distribution has to sum to 100% from negative infinity all the way out to positive infinity on the number line, we have a symmetric distribution so this tail, the left tail, and the right tail should have the same probability associated with it. In order to find that, so the whole distribution adds up to 100%, the two unshaded regions would be 5%. Half of 5% is 2.5%. So alpha over 2, alpha is 0 0.05, the total of the two unshaded region, and we're going to divide by 2. So we have in the unshaded region on the left tail, 0 0.025, and since we have a symmetric distribution, we should have the same value on the right-hand tail, or 0.025. Now we have to use our tables to find the critical values, the value associated with the probability of being less than uh, some critical value, and the probability is 0.025. And on the right tail, since it's a symmetric distribution, it will be the same, except this on the upper bound will be a positive number. On the lower boundary, it will be a negative number. Remember, zero always lies in the center of the distribution. So when we find our critical value, we have to use our z-score table, because we are dealing with a z-score critical value. So when we look in our tables, we need to use the body of the table to find something close to, or exactly if we can get it, 0.025. So we're going to use our tables. So this is the negative z-score, so I'm going to find the negative side. And to do that, we're going to look in the body of the table. So the body of the table, the body of the negative z-score table is within here. So if I look in the body for something close to or exactly 0.025, I'll find it at reading off the z value. See, I see 0.025 exactly here. So reading off the z value, I see it's negative 1.9. And then I come up from the top, and I see 6. So that is that exact value. So it's negative 1.96. And it's going to be, since it's a symmetric distribution, positive 1.96. So the z alpha over 2 critical region is two answers. One is positive 1.96, and one is negative 1.96. So we can write it as though we have a plus and a minus on top of each other. So this is the critical value.